Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week we will continue our look at DevonThink Pro 3 by Devon Technologies. In the first screencast in this three-part series, we covered getting started with DevonThink Pro, including the installation, database setup, and how to get information into DevonThink Pro. If you haven't had a chance to view that screencast yet, I would highly recommend doing so as this screencast will be building off of what we covered in part one. In this week's show, we will take a look at how to view and organize the data that we imported into our global inbox. There are a number of options for filing your information yourself or with DevonThink's built-in artificial intelligence, you can let DevonThink evaluate your documents to determine where it thinks it should go by scanning the content inside those documents. So we'll take a look at both a manual and automated approach to organizing your files. We will also look at the difference between grouping and tagging as a filing system and some ways that you can use both methods within your own workflow. We will also take a look at working with the rich metadata found in DevonThink Pro and ways to work with the interface to get the most out of the application. So let's get started by taking a look at some of the ways DevonThink Pro displays our data so that we can begin the filing and classification process. Now before we take a look at the different ways you can file your documents in DevonThink Pro, let's get the interface set up the way we want it. Now there are a number of ways that I can view my documents in the interface. The first thing up here is I can hide the sidebar or choose to show it. There's also a view that gets rid of the preview, so it's for none. All I have there is a list. I can also choose to preview a document, which means that I have the list on the top and I've got a document preview down below. I can zoom in or out of this area right here to get a view of the document that I have selected. There is also across the top a widescreen view where it just moves the preview to the right so that I can view more of the document. And again, if I just zoom out, I can customize that. Let's just go ahead and go back to the standard view. There is also an option to customize the item list view. If I just come all the way over here, I can view by icon. So I get a nice view of the icons that are in here. If I want, let me move this down here. I can choose the size of those icons with the slider. And what's nice about this is if I want to see a little preview in the icon of what the document is, I can do that. So if, that, if I'm scanning through, I can pick the one that I'm really after. If you notice here, I also have a list view right here, and that's where we were before. There's also a column view where I can view as columns. And this is nice when I've got different groups that I want to drill into, such as here going through my mail, I can come all the way over here and then pick a selected email. And the nice thing is it just holds my place, so I can still see the rest of the list over here, but I can drill into a particular folder. And then I've also got cover view, and that's just like the finder where I can scroll through. And sometimes it takes a few minutes to load all of the icons here, but you get the idea. It's just a quicker way to preview a document before I move into it. Uh, let's just go ahead and go back over here to the list. Now, I can also sort, uh, and if I just hit the sort area here, I can sort by name or kind, and you can see all of the different things. Uh, let's just say I want to sort by, uh, let's say, kind, and you can see how that changes everything. I can come back and sort by name again, and I've got a number of options. If I just scroll all the way through here, I've got ascending and descending, and I can even customize it. And I'm going to show you how you can customize your metadata a little further in the screencast. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, 
Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.